This is a history of dentistry up to the 1970s. As it has always been, those who were brave enough and could afford it had decayed teeth removed. Medieval dentists chiseled out tooth decay. Then in the 18th century, the spring clock was cloned into a faster wind-up drill. Dentists were able to more precisely drill out decay first before filling for a longer lasting result. Also in the 1800s, after trying everything from cobwebs to slivers of silver, dentists developed a mix of molten amalgam based on mercury that they could then place into teeth. It was a primitive and ineffective sealant for enamel cavitations, that's where decay has invaded the tooth. If the tooth wasn't destroyed, the amalgam stayed in place for a while. Old-fashioned dentists were associated with pain, and extractions were the reason why. Primitive mercury amalgam mixes were placed as fillings, but they didn't bond to the tooth. Failure was often the result because the drilling necessary for the filling created an entrance deep inside the tooth for decay that was deeper than any natural cavity. Without anesthesia, drilling and filling was rushed and uncomfortable, and fillings were unreliable. And then, with the introduction of vulcanite artificial teeth, false teeth were in vogue. Oh, everybody's wearing them. Because medicine has always been fashionable and dentures were a new option, patients were encouraged to get all their teeth removed for full, complete dentures. A major component of dental silver amalgams today is still mercury. This was modern dentistry a hundred years ago. Today, dentists can repair and replace teeth with ease because of important space-age spin-off bonding using light-sensitive composites. This Medical Watch report, there are revolutionary changes taking place in dentistry that are not only saving Americans money, but saving our teeth as well. Broken teeth are being mended with the use of space-age plastics instead of porcelain caps or crowns. The process called bonding... Extractions will be a thing of the past. In this century, there will be a pendulum effect, as it may be possible for man to outlive his natural teeth.